Yo, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabby if you're new here and today's video is going to be a what's on my iPhone video. I got my iPhone 14 Pro Max back in October when it launched and I said to you guys I was going to do a what's on my iPhone video then and then never got around to it. Better late than never so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Everything that is on my iPhone, all the apps and stuff that I use. So if you want to know all of the items on my iPhone then just keep watching. All right, so this is my home screen here. I just got this background off of Pinterest. I just like Google iPhone wallpapers and then like spring or summer, whatever it might be. Okay, so this is my wallpaper. I just have the date on it, the time obviously. And then I have this little widget that has like the small little weather in it. It says mostly cloudy and then like just gives me the temperature outside. So pretty basic home screen. And then this is the screen that you first see when you open the phone. So I do have the little weather widget. I love looking at the weather, especially in the morning. Kind of gives me the forecast for the day and what to expect. So that's the first thing I have. And then basically this is pretty standard for the iPhone configuration. I don't really change it that much other than like switching like the phone and messages location. So I have phone, FaceTime, weather, settings. Again, very standard for iPhones. In this one I have photo and video. So this is everything I use to edit my photos and videos for Instagram and TikTok. So we have Lightroom. I I just have like the free version of it and I just have little presets on here so I will edit all of my photos on there same with color tone again I use that one mostly for Instagram facetune I will sometimes use just for like the glow feature I just like how it like makes me pop in my thumbnails a little bit more I have lens buddy which I use for taking Hi, for taking um, Instagram photos and stuff when I'm by myself. It's super easy to use. It has a self timer. You can set the amount of photos that you want to take. So it's super easy to use with a tripod and you don't have to have someone like always like resetting the timer. So I do really like that app. And then I have CapCut as well to edit my videos. For TikTok, I've been shooting more videos like outside of the app and just on the regular camera and then editing them and importing them into the app. So I've been using CapCut and really enjoy that one. I have Google Photos because that's how I share photos with my boyfriend because he has an Android and it doesn't really work obviously iCloud thing. So that's how we share our photos. I have just regular photos that's you know pretty standard camera. We got maps, um, iTunes. This one's currently in the cloud right now because I I don't really use it but I like leaving it there because it does add like more color to the home screen so it's still hanging around podcasts I do not really use I used to listen to the pretty basic podcast a lot but I don't know I kind of go like in and out of phases with podcasts and it's not like my favorite thing it's not my jam unfortunately so again left it there because I do like the color we have the app store again typical iPhone app and then we have productive which is basically all of like the little junky things that I don't really know what to do with so we have clock notes contacts calculator and find my iPhone I obviously use the clock to set alarms and stuff but other than that I don't really use any of the apps in here I have like a quick shortcut to the calculator on the control center I think it's called so I'll like use the calculator through there but I won't actually like go into this folder and like use it notes mostly use on my laptop and computer and and then if I ever need to reference something, at least it's on my phone. But I always type my YouTube descriptions in there and things like that. So nothing exciting. We've got Google Calendar. That's what I use to plan all of my things. And again, I can share it with Damon so we can be on the same page and know each other's schedules, which is really nice. I also have reminders. I don't think I've used this at all very much. Like I, yeah, things to pick up for like traveling a long time ago. Oh, did that, perfect. Okay, great. See, YouTube, things I need for YouTube, those kind of things, nothing too exciting. And then down here at the very bottom, my consistent apps are Messages, Mail, Safari, and Apple Music, which are my top used apps. So makes sense that they are down there and are always accessible on every page. Then on this next screen here, I do have the Google Calendar widget as well. I like to see a little preview of all the events and stuff I have coming up for the day. It just helps me be a little bit more organized and know where I need to be at what time. So I love the little calendar app again for quick reference. And then I have 
all my socials. So I have my LTK creator, which is like reward style and the affiliate links that I use. I have Milkshake, which is actually my link in bio website. So I do it all through Milkshake, which is actually really easy to use. Plus it's free and we love that. Plan, I don't think I've used this for a very long time. I was using this to plan out my Instagram feed, but honestly, I've kind of flopped on Instagram and stuff and don't really like plan things out. So I was using this, but I have not used it in a very long time. Probably don't need to keep it, but it's cool if you want to plan out your feed and I probably need to get back into Instagram a little bit more. We have Snapchat that I really don't use at all. Uh, Messenger, Facebook, and Reddit. I always keep a Reddit tab open for Lululemon on here because I'm always checking what's new and what's going on in the community. So love Reddit. Then we have Pinterest, Instagram, and TikTok, and I kind of organize them so they are like across in rows. So like each folder is like the category and then the top used apps are like out on the home page so pinterest instagram tiktok are like my most used ones and i use pinterest mostly to like pin recipes outfit inspo um and you know just like pinteresty things and then instagram obviously tiktok go follow me on both of those things if you're not already and then we have our fitness category so i have berries which uh, is my like favorite fitness class to go to it's pretty much like orange theory like hit workout type thing so you can book all of your classes through the app and purchase more classes through the app so i like to use that one and then we have all trails which is currently in the cloud right now because i only use it in the summertime when we actually hike otherwise it's not really doing me any good we don't do any winter hikes here just because we don't have like the equipment and stuff for that. So only used in the summer, so I only download it for the summer. Apple Fitness, which is like attached to my watch. Apple Health, nah, I don't think I've ever used that. And I do have the Lululemon Studio because I did have a free trial, but I'm pretty sure that's expired now. So I should probably go ahead and delete the app because I am not using it at the moment. Then we have Lululemon, which I know is not really fitness, but it was like kind of fitness related. And I don't really have any like shopping apps on here, I guess. So I just like stuck it in there. Always using the Lululemon app, as you guys know, for new drops and restocks, etc. So always browsing on the app, seeing what's new and what has restocked. I have Team Snap, which is the app that I use for all of my like team stuff for ringettes and our games and communicating with the team, group chat, etc. Super useful. Then we have the actual Apple Watch app. Don't think I really go in there either, to be honest with you, unless it needs an update. That's pretty much the only time I open that app. Then we have like everything to do with like payment and stuff so like banking i have my pc optimum in here which is like a points rewards program in canada for the grocery store um phone bills etc petro canada loyalty cards then i have Rebe as well which is like a flyers app so you can open these and you can see all the flyers in your local area we always shop the flyers in these times especially because inflation here is getting out of control groceries are crazy expensive so we always try and shop the flyers if we can love this app to compare like everything really easily and quickly but then i have stow card which again love this app because it stores all of your membership and loyalty cards in one place on your phone and you don't have to carry around a thick stack of cards in your wallet and your purse which is just highly unnecessary so i do have the stow card app highly recommend and then more banking as well we have our shaw blue curve tv because we don't actually have like a cable tv we have like a google chromecast i think it's called and then we like cast it to the tv so we have the app on our phone and then basically like this is our remote we have to control it from here and cast it to the tv so tv then i have my youtube studio and youtube app so love looking at all of my analytics and stuff on here on the uh youtube studio app and then obviously just to watch YouTube and stuff like that. So that is the next one. And then I have SoundCloud. Love to listen to like remixes and stuff on SoundCloud. So I have like a ringette playlist of all of my like favorite like remixes and stuff. And then just like a playlist of liked tracks. I don't know, pretty simple and straightforward, but I do really enjoy listening to like remixes of 
music and things like that. I just, I enjoy it. So I have SoundCloud, just the free version. On this next page, this is the Wiz app, which is actually my lights up here. So I have those color, not color changing light bulbs, but they're like daylight light bulbs. So I can change the hue from like warm tone to like daylight cool toned and then I they're like dimmable as well so I do have that app at the very top to be honest I don't really use it that much because I do like them fully bright if we're doing something like at night or something and don't want so much light bright light then I can like turn them down on here but basically that's what it's for I can turn the lights on and off from my phone but mostly I just like use it to like dim them if I need to but Honestly, don't really do that a lot. Then we have food apps. <laughs> so Tim Hortons, 7-Eleven, A&W, Second Cup, Wendy's, Starbucks, and McDonald's. Honestly, probably use the McDonald's ones and the Starbucks ones the most. I don't really use a ton of them in the folder. In case, I don't know, in case you wanna order some food or something, I have a few of the food apps. Then I have really random things. So Google Rewards, if you don't have this already, if you have a Google account, you can like get little surveys and they like give you like a small, small portion of money, like 10 cents per survey. I don't really get them that often, but Damon gets them all the time and he's made like, I don't know, like 50 bucks off of the Google Rewards and it's like a short survey. So if you get them often enough, I feel like it, it could be worth it. Then I have this Canon app, which actually connects to this camera right here. So I can see it on my phone and I can like take pictures and stuff with this camera and use that to connect it, which is super fun. I've done that a couple times. The Wiz app for my light bulbs and the DJI uh, Mimo, Mimo? app which is for my DJI stabilizer that I have and I honestly should probably use that a little bit more but I don't film a ton on my phone at the moment but if I need to like connect it to the stabilizer which is that's how you like control it that's the app that I use then I just have like super random things left on my phone we have Sephora I should probably delete this app because it gets way too dangerous looking at all the things and they send you like little notifications of like what you can get for free trials and like sales and all that oh I think I got this because they were previewing their Black Friday sales only on the app and so I was like oh I really want to see it so that's why I got it it is super convenient to be honest because I don't know it's just like more convenient than the uh, website but honestly it's probably not very good for the wallet always browsing on there or like them sending you notifications and stuff and I could turn that off too but I feel like just getting rid of it in general maybe is a better option and then I have our groceries which is actually our grocery list so I really love this app because you can like easily add different items and then you can like add different stores that you have to go to sometimes we shop around or sometimes we go to different stores depending on what's on sale that week or what we need that week so I love that you can like sh divide it by individual stores as well so I use that for all of our groceries and that connects to my Apple watch on here so then I can just like look at my watch without having to take my phone out every single time I can just like reference my wash and like cross it off and stuff so I do like that then I have one game on here it's burger shop I love this game you make like little burgers and stuff and I just I don't know I find this like so relaxing for some reason it's just like I don't know so fun you just like make little burgers for everybody yeah anyways so that's my one game and then I have vinted which is where I sell all of my closets secondhand clothes things that I'm not wearing so I have a ton of Lululemon stuff on here right now so definitely go check that out if you're from Canada you can shop my vintage I have so many things on here and I feel like decently priced I don't know I like vintage probably better than Poshmark but again it's not like the perfect system I know mean, selling secondhand clothes is kind of like a thing it's I don't know you have to have like a knack for it I feel like and then I have my little um baby folder here uh what to expect is basically just like my like I don't know pregnancy app that you know tells me like the size of the baby and there's like a little community forum on here and like what to expect during pregnancy essentially I have a app for baby names but honestly I haven't really used this that much to be honest um nothing really I feel like we've kind of decided on names but I just like this for like I don't know inspiration in case and then I have clue which is like a period tracking app but haven't used that in a while so that's just hanging out there and that is everything on my iPhone you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing what's on my iPhone leave me your favorite app down below in the comments and if you made it this far give this video a thumb 
thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more content, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.